Yeah, and I think it was the next inning he came back and struck out the side. So he, he you know, was a little upset with himself for leaving a ball up in the first inning. And I said often before that sometimes the first inning is an inning where the starter, you know, is trying to find his rhythm, release point. But after that, really good. Do you think he could have gone a little bit longer? Little yeah, bit he had a little bit of a hip thing that was bothering him. So I didn't want to mess with that. He's had a lot of innings this year. and. Um, he, he felt it once or twice during the game, and after that inning, it, it felt it again, and I just wanted, didn't want to mess with that. So we see, see how he feels tomorrow. It was a long struggle for, for Doolittle to get the last out in the eighth, but you're talking about his ninth inning and fans sort of putting it away quickly? Yeah, we, you know, we, we've given him, he's had a lot of rest. I mean, it's been an uncomfortable amount of time that he's had off, so. We were comfortable with him throwing a couple innings, probably up to 40 pitches. Whether or not he gets the next hit or not, I don't know because of the pitch count. Um, but, yeah, I mean, he, he was he was eager to get back out there after giving up a run and, and put it away. And, you know, good thing he did pretty quickly because now we're dealing with either a pitch count with him and, and two pretty good hitters coming up. Not that, nobody, you know, everybody in their team can hit, but yeah. the three and four hitters are pretty pretty dynamic. What about the battle there with Williamson with the bases loaded uh, and getting the, the foul pop and also the play that Vogt made on it when he hasn't been out there for a while? Right. That's a tough play for a catcher, you know, and you're close to the railing too and you haven't been out there and, you know, he had a lot thrown at him during the course of a game. So, you know, as long as it stayed in, we felt pretty good about him making the play. But it was. It was a battle. That whole inning was a battle for Dewey. He had two strikes on everybody and, you know, Crawford hits the ball in the hole over at shortstop and, you know, Bird ends up ground one up the middle after two strikes too. So it was a pretty significant inning for him. What do you think of Dole kind of experiencing his first little speed bump and then continuing to get some outs after that? Yeah, and now he's official. You start going that long without giving up a run, it, it takes on a life of its own. So I told him after the game, hey, look, now you've, you've given up your run. Now you can just go about your business and not have to worry about that. Uh, Sonny with the hip, is this something I know you're going to look at him tomorrow, but were there any indications that it would maybe affect the next start? Not sure. Really not sure. Again, I didn't want to mess around with that. And then, have you know, if he gets a couple runners on, now i got to go to, to dull with some guys on base. Billy Burns is nearing the franchise lead for rookie hits and multi-hit games, and he's now in a conversation with Jose Canseco and Mark McGuire. And what does that say about this young kid's talent to be. He's in a, con he's what now? What he, was the last part? He tied McGuire for multi-hit games and oh, passed okay. Seiko for, for the thought we were talking about home runs. No, not, not, not home runs. runs. <laughs> yeah. You know, he's in a lot of conversations at this point. He's in conversation for rookie of the year and he's been really consistent for us. And you know, you're talking about multi-hit games for a guy that didn't even start here to begin the season with us. So he, he has been terrific. He's been consistent, he's been durable, all the above. So whoever he's even conversations with right now, he deserves to be. Uh, Fultz base running there um, right. in that inning. How key was that? Very. And, and he's, you know, at like games like this, you want guys like Sam Fold in there. You know, he hasn't played a whole lot. All he does is get a couple of hits, uh, tags up, which is huge on that play. It's great awareness and good base running on his part. You know, ends up being a key run, obviously, in the game. So. And then you always have his defense, too, in games where you feel like with whoever you have on the mound, um, you know, defense is going to be important.